I'm going to do the honors of uh, bringing up uh, the Consul General, because I know that his schedule is very busy. Bringing him down here in San Jose is no different from bringing him up to Portland. His schedule is just everywhere. But what's important in this forum today uh, is the fact that we're trying to organize our community. You know, our community, mostly, in, mostly a Filipino, and many of you have a relationship with the Filipino community, are trying to have some sense of coordination. On any given Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have probably numerous events that are going on. And they're wonderful. It's part of a growing community or communities. Unfortunately though, you know, Konjin cannot be in six places and I cannot be in three places. And we, you know, now I'm looking for a helicopter and a helicopter pilot, and I think I'm going to recruit Dan Harrington because he's a former pilot for American Airlines. But the point is, there's just no way we can cover all of the many events, which is great, but it also causes conflict, confusion, and we don't get a chance to appreciate all of the great things that all of you are doing in our community. So the Consul General has asked the community leaders to provide a venue to get us better organized. The Consul General would have a master schedule and so that we can then at least pick out, let's say, certain events that we're all going to support and be there. So if it's Philippine Independence Day, if it's Pistahan in uh, Yerba Buena, if it's the Fiesta in uh, in Vallejo or in Sacramento or the Adobo Fest here at Seasons. The, the key is, is that we want to be able to be there. So by having this forum uh, and celebrating Filipino American History Month and supported by the wonderful merchants who are here and Gurley's going to introduce them shortly, uh, you know, this is a chance for us to be better coordinated. The last thing is this. And this is to my Kababayans. But this isn't just for our Filipino community. As you know, I work with just about every community in, in this county and also in, in this country. You know, I'm a member of the National Council of La Raza. So, yo hablo espanol. Un poquito. Pero, I'm also a member of the Black 100 Black Men. And more important, I'm proud to say I'm a member of the 100 black women. I'm one of the three men. So, you know, that's, that sort of makes me feel proud that the black women have accepted me to be part of the group. More important, I also have an association with the, uh, with the Persian community, and you'll get to meet a couple of them, and then as well as other communities. What's important is that this mall is not only for our Filipino community, but it's for everybody. And that's what I want to transcend to the message of our Chinese, our Vietnamese, our Caucasian, and most important, the next generation. You see, if you look here, we have a lot of our old generation. You look, you see, you see a lot of older Filipinos here, first generation, who come here and shop and eat and so on. We don't have a lot of our second generation, the, the generation that the daughter of Bridget or the, the grandson or the granddaughter of Nellie and Roddy, you know, we want them here. Because if this place is going to survive to be an icon of a place of gathering for our community, then we need to also bring in our younger generation. Otherwise, you know, sooner or later, some of us are going to, you know, retire and go to, well, some of us will go up there and probably me, I'll probably be talking down there. Anyway, my point is, is that when we're all past and gone and our legacy that we left behind is this, we gave something to our children that they can be part of. The final step is this, and this is why I'm so proud of Seasons, Seafood City, and all of the merchants of Seasons Marketplace at Landis is that this room here was just finished and it's not quite finished because on that wall will be mirrors. This will be, I don't know, Gurley and I are start, still talking about it, 
what we're talking about calling the Seasons Community Hall. And it will be open to just about any group that would like to have gatherings here, meetings, even small parties, even small events. And like last week when we were celebrating Filipino American History Month, we even show movies here. And then we're gonna think of bringing in some friends who could teach Tagalog. So those of us who can't speak Tagalog, and I don't speak one word, you know, hindi na, okay. My point is that I get a chance to learn. Also, because they allow me to do a lot of things here, now Girlie has me teaching folk dance here. Konjen, can you stop this? Uh, 10 o'clock Saturday morning. So, you know, but I'm excited. Oh, I will dance, you know, I will teach whoever wants to learn folk dance. Not just Filipinos, because that's not my game. My